Hey guys, it's Nelson Daylife, and this YouTube video, um, I'm gonna talk about Bully Max, uh, the dog food brand, and tell you guys uh, how my 30 day journey has been with it. Can you guys please hit the like, share, and subscribe, and turn on those post notifications on, and let's go on with the video, guys. I did a 30 way journey, 30 day journey, you guys. So um, this dog food review um, is about Bully Max. I probably said it already, but first, what we're gonna talk about is the ingredients in this food and what Bully Max did I get. So um, it's because they have two different products of Bully Max dog food. They have this one. They have the regular version, the Bully Max 3020 high performance dog food, and they have the Gorilla Max 3125 ultra performance dog food. This is the original one, and then this one is the um, um, basically a more bulked up version of it. I had this one, you guys, so we're mostly focusing on this one, but they're essentially kind of the same thing, except this one is just like, you know, 25% fat well, and 31% protein, while this one's 30 fat, 20 protein. Since I told you guys I'm using the Gorilla Max, not the Bully Max, but, you know, they're both essentially the same um, dog food. Just, you know, one has 535 calories while the other has 600 calories. So a 75 calorie difference is 65, my bad, you guys. Um, 65 calorie calorie difference is pretty big guys. So also I'm gonna show you guys before and after pictures of my dogs and show you guys like how they turned out. So like I said, we're gonna talk about the ingredients right now. Unfortunately, they don't have um, the Gorilla Max one version on this website, Dog Food Advisor. But the only really difference is that um, the Gorilla Max has chicken fat, um, which is, you know, obviously why it has more fat in it and, and a little bit more protein and stuff. In and stuff like that so but we're gonna talk about the ingredients since they're both basically the essential essentially the same ingredients i looked over both ingredients so right now if you guys remember i've been on this website multiple times for like my prina pro plan review and my uh blue buffalo review the this food only has three controversial uh, ingredients which is dried plain beet pulp and brewers no actually two 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 controversial my bad you guys they have dried plain beet pulp and brewers dried yeast that's really good you guys because a lot of food companies they have a lot of controversial ingredients and this food company um bully max only has two which is really good you guys so and we're gonna talk about it it's not it's kind of controversial and it's kind of not because i remember i was reading the ingredients i'm gonna tell you guys about the dried plain beet pulp let me just look for it okay guys it says the fourth ingredient includes beet pulp beet pulp is a controversial item which is a high fiber product of sh sugar beet processing and some denounce the beet pulp as an inexpensive filler other site it's an outstanding and sent intent i can't really say that you guys it's basically like blood sugar benefits and basically better for the health. We want to call your attention here to controversy and believe the inclusion of beet pulp in reasonable amounts of most dog foods in, is entirely uh, acceptable. So essentially, basically, people are saying that uh, it's a filler and then the other half of people are saying it's like good for the health and blood sugar benefits. So you could take it how, how it is, you guys. But um, in my opinion, if it says if they say it's good for the health, I'm pretty sure it's good for the health of your dog, you guys. But you know like i said there's the two controversial ingredients so and i'm gonna tell you guys the second ingredient right now you guys the second uh ingredient is brew brewer's yeast you guys brewer's yeast which can be a controversial item is a byproduct of the beer making process this ingredient is rich in minerals and other healthy nutrients fans believe yeast repels fleas and supports the immune system critics argue yeast ingredients can be linked to allergies this may be true only if your particular dog is allergic to the yeast itself. So basically, um, right here for this controversial item, I'm saying like this controversial. Basically, if your dog is allergic to it, um, then it's that's why it could be controversial to it. You know, like signs of con um, allergic is you know like maybe like pimples or losing a lot of fur. All right, but I'm gonna tell you guys my experience. I'll, I talked about the ingredients. All the ingredients are good. I don't see really nothing wrong with the ingredients. If it says it's good for the health, it's good for the health of the dog. Like, um, what, what was it called again? Brewer's yeast it says that, you know, that it could be allergies for the dog, but my dogs don't have no allergies at all, actually. And the other one is, which one is the other one? Beet pulp, which is, people say it's good for health and some people say it's not, it's just a filler. But my experience with it, um, I'm gonna include some clips of my dog's exercising. Hey guys, it's already nighttime, so they're about to eat their dinner. And look, you guys, this is what I was talking about. Look, it doesn't look like that much food, but this is basically what I gotta feed Chai. And then look at Duchess, it's not that much food either. So I just find that crazy that you don't have to feed your dog as much. So I need to include my, the coconut oil for them. And you could probably hear Duchess crying, but I'm gonna show you guys a video of them eating this and that's it. Also, you guys, uh, remember I told you guys that the food has a strong sense of smell. So, like, it smells like fish food. So, but anyways, let's get on to feeding them the food. It's been about a week, well, 10 days of Bully Max. So, it was, it was supposed to be like three days ago. And you guys, I can see differences, you guys. So, I can see that their muscles have been bulked up a little bit. Um, So, look at y'all, you guys. So, I'm playing fetch with them, you guys, right now. And look, 
you can see her her muscles have bulked up a little bit and, but the biggest difference i've noticed is their back legs so their back legs have grown muscle a lot since i'm sorry that's my dog she wants to look she wants the ball you guys the back legs um they usually never their muscles used to never pop out um it's been out a week and i could see like little improvements not like the most the biggest improvements but look look you guys you could definitely see that they have grown muscle and oh my god look yes kind of see cha you can see her muscles have bulked up a little bit right there i don't know if you guys can see that I exercise my dogs, you guys, in this 30-day journey, two to five miles each day, and I play fetch with them at the park. So they did exercise. I went hiking with them and everything. Here's a picture of me hiking with them. They basically just exercised overall throughout the 30-day journey. So um, now, which I know most people are waiting for, is the 30-day progress photo. So here's Duchess, I think, around February. So here's a picture of Duchess. And this is a picture of her body on March. That's just 30 days. But the thing is with this dog food, I feel like it's overhyped because, um, well, obviously it's only 30 days that I did too. So that's probably the reason why. And my, my dogs are females, you guys. So they don't have like testosterone or anything like that to like make them look bulkier. Um, but the do this dog food actually built my dogs up, like they increased their size um, by, uh, let's say, a little bit, but not like a lot how these reviews say that, oh yeah, your dog's just going to turn into like a bodybuilder or something like that. This dog food has good ingredients and good, has good benefits for your dog, basically. My dogs um, never had diarrhea like how Blue Buffalo did to my dog. My dog, uh, Cha, the pit that I have, she was um, pooping out red, right? That's what red, Blue Buffalo, I mean, did. But, uh, they loved the food from the start. They like devoured the food, right? They like loved the food. So that was really good about it. And I could see some progress, like, you know, some actually like after 30 days, they actually did grow a little massive size. Child, you could see here some pictures of her before. They both did actually grow in size a little bit. Not a lot, like I said before, but like, they actually did grow a little bit, if that makes any sense. But also, I was feeding them, I was I was actually exercising them like two to five miles a day. I was feeding them raw meat still, because I still feed my dogs raw meat. And they're eating eggs and all sorts of more proteins like that. So um, that's probably, that con contributed contributed a lot to uh, to the dog's um, muscular size, if that makes any sense. Well, you got, and plus, you guys have a pit and have a dog Argentino. Dogo Argentinos are known to ha already be muscular as hell. In my opinion, uh, the, I know this video is pretty short because I don't really have nothing to say bad about this dog food brand, you guys. This dog food brand has been really good to me. Oh, yeah, and I also talked to, uh, talked to the team. Um, I was asking if they have any other flavors other than chicken, and this is that they are actually going to come out in the coming months or maybe coming year that they're going to come out with different flavors or ingredients. Well, well different flavor other than chicken because mostly the only flavor that they have is chicken. And um, I would actually like want to change it up because I still have, uh, I, I still have uh, eight. Well, it's because I bought 80 pounds of the dog food, you guys, and it worked out amazing for me. And I still have a lot left. They, oh, also another benefit is you got to feed less of it. I don't got nothing to say bad about it, you guys, because they actually did um, they do some pros on my uh, dogs. You know, they actually grew massive in size. You know, my dogs love the food. No loose stool or like a bloody stool like how Blue Buffalo did me. And it's actually a pretty good dog food brand. No, I mean, obviously that's two controversial ingredients, but it literally says like, they're actually pretty good. It's just people disagree with those ingredients. But so you guys, this is the end of the video. So this is Nelson Day Life. Please like, share, and subscribe, and turn on those post notifications on. And I'll provide you guys with more daily content. You know, I didn't make a, a dog video like this in a while because I usually been focused on gaming. Like I remember, like I, like I told you guys, I don't know if anybody's gonna watch through this, but this channel is, I'm gonna do stuff that I like, you know? I'm gonna do gaming to like dog food reviews to like unboxing stuff like that that I love. So like I said again, you guys, please like, share, and subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. And um, I'll catch you guys on the next video.